Alright, your boy David up here, something random. I keep having a bad habit of putting the same top on two days in a row. Is that bad? I have no idea. Let's start this random reactions episode. And we'll been a little while it's been just over a week i think uh i there's i was gonna plan on there's no there was no episode last week because i was concentrating on uploading my old video reactions and there's two left i might do another one actually i might do a third left because there's seven in the playlist but i'll make an even number of ten instead of nine so i might make another one i don't know i don't know but because of those videos I've been making less of these, but don't worry, those are almost almost over, and you'll see this at least once a week for the next probably month, at least couple months, maybe more than that. Because recently, I got nine, I got 26, I got 26 requests. I keep saying things wrong. I'm sorry. I got 26 different links from one person, all in one comment. I was like, wow, I'm blessed. All of these requests, that 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 is great. Even if it's one person. It's still great. Having said that, I said no to about seven of them. There's like 19 of them left. So I put them all on the, all of my list. The other seven were, well, one I already watched. One was like a Star Wars fan film. I watched it already with uh, from another video. Um, I watched another reaction of it actually as well. Um, there was another thing I watched as well. There was like a movie trailer that I already watched. And uh, there was also a 9-11 conspiracy theory video for like an hour long as well. And there was also a theory video about Family Guy and they showed footage from the Boston Marathon as, and, as well and there was a couple of videos about like uh, refugee crimes in Europe and I was just like these are a bit too serious this series is meant to be a bit, a bit fun my channel in general like there's some videos where I just sit down, sit down and talk but most videos they're meant to be enjoyable and fun it's a bit too serious to watch conspiracy theories and other things so I thought yeah let, let's just say no to those ones but there are 19 of them left that I said yes to, so that is great. And there's also three more requests uh, from, from, from other people, from three other people, so that's great as well. So what we're gonna do, of those 19 requested videos, we're gonna do two of them in this video and two videos from other people. So it's, it's a bit unfair if I just do one person constantly uh, if other people request as well. So it's, it's, it's a bit annoying to keep them waiting while I just accommodate this guy. I'm gonna try and keep episodes to two to three reactions uh, just to like keep it going for, long, for as long as possible but there are exceptions including this one and this one is four reactions because three of them are really short so yeah that's why we have got three rap videos actually we've got Bruce Lee versus Clint Eastwood epic rap battle and we've got Babe Ruth versus Lance Armstrong another epic rap battle so those are from the 19 request guy I'm gonna call him 19 he's, he's called something Fox we're gonna, call, we're gonna call him Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox requested 26 things. I said yes to 19, and those are the two that uh, I picked uh, for this video. They're at the top of thing of the list. And also, we got um, Fire in the Booth. Fire in the Booth is something that you probably know about um, uh, from Charlie Sloth. And yeah, I got a request from it. It's 11 minutes long, but because it's music, I might cut out my reaction a little bit because. I don't know about music reactions. They're like they they tend to get claimed and stuff. So, um, but, but I still you still see the best part, the best parts of my reaction to it. So yeah, Barry in the booth. Uh, Mike Mike Reckless. Mike Righteous. Uh, it says Mike Reckless slash Mike Righteous. Barry in the booth part four. Haven't seen part one and two, one, two, and three, but never mind. Let's just we'll watch that. But after, but before, not after, before these rap videos, we're gonna react to War Machine at the office. I'm pretty sure it's a skit. Starring War Machine, not the actual one, probably, probably an actor, but well, he is an actor. It's probably a YouTuber pretending to be War Machine and he's doing a skit where War Machine goes to work. He's a superhero that goes to work. Now, I love superheroes, I love the Avengers. I'm not a big fan of War Machine, but this should still be a funny skit, so let's react to it. I think I'm talking way too much. Shut up, David, let's react. I don't know why I'm exaggerating, okay? 10 minutes, damn it. Sorry, I'm being over the top. I just feel over the top today, feeling a good mood. It's Tuesday, by the way. War Machine at the office. It's great cosplay, I gotta say. Hey, War Machine. Um, I'm having trouble opening up this can of nuts. Do you think you could open it up for me? 
Oh dear. Go on then. Is he gonna talk? Or... Oh dear. Shoot them, mate! <laughs> Actually, don't shoot them, that's, that's a bit... <laughs> oh, okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> I mean, I said shoot, you know, you, you didn't shoot them, but you know, that... That's perfect, that's what I meant. We probably shouldn't prank a war machine anymore. Yeah, you wouldn't want to prank a superhero. Unless he's nice, like Spider-Man, but... Listen, I wanted to have a chat with you because you were late again for work. Which I find kind of strange considering you travel near the speed of sound. Oh, really? I thought I'd bring it up because right now it's a little problem. So I wanted to get to you before it became a bigger problem. Alright? Really? Have a good day now. It's gonna attack him. Attack. Hang in. What? Okay. I, that got a bit serious there. I'm lacking this so far. Who's this? No. I mean, that's not going to fix it, is it, mate? When I look around this room, I don't just see people. I see the faces of our bright future. Really? But what I don't see is a different mindset when it comes to what this company's all about. Is he asleep? I and mean, that's people, I and mean, that's purpose. He's sleeping. It's also money. You also need to make a lot of money. Yeah, money. Because I just blew the company budget on the Christmas party. So, uh, we got Unbelievable. And now War Machine's gonna take us through our quarterly earnings. War Machine? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. War, War Machine. Bro, wake up. Wake up, bro. Unbelievable. Really? Yeah, really? Sleeping during the most important presentation of the year, you think? I was wrong. You're, you're nothing but a two-bit slacker. I want really? you to get your stuff and get out of here. Wow. Can he hit that? Can he hit that hard? I don't think he can, but still, it's pretty funny. Sorry, I talked over it a bit there at the end. The director of Iron Man was saying, what are you doing? What was that? Uh, that was pretty funny. But yeah, that, that was a good skit. I gotta say, that is impressive cosplay. Whoever that is in there, whoever made that, that is impressive cosplay. I wish I had that sort of cosplay, to be honest. I, I think I think that would look cool, like an, like an Iron Man one though. That, that's much better, but still. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was a good skit. That, that was pretty cool. It would be interesting to see like how superheroes would do like in normal situations. Like at the office, but surely he'd take his suit off, technically. But uh, yeah, I guess he's, uh, well, he's sleeping at work, he's being late, I guess he's uh, saving the world at night. Um, I don't know how they do it, to be honest, I know, I know it's fictional, but jeez, you, you look at Batman, you wonder, like, does this guy sleep? Like, seriously. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, but yeah, that, that, that was a pretty cool skit. On to these rap things, then. I'm not a very rap guy. Uh, I don't know what what sort of vocabulary is. I I used to like I used to really like Eminem, and I liked I, I liked Fifty Cent. I liked I used to listen to a lot of old old school rap, and I sort of like lost interest. But I still listen to some rap, but I'm not like a huge rap fan. But uh, these rap battles, these parodies, should be funny, and um, and the fire and the proof should be interesting as well. I do like rap, I'm just not a big fan of it anymore. He does belong in a fight, to be fair. Make my eye pause. Those little dances you do don't threaten me, Bruce. Fuck you, dude. I even squint better than you. I be the good and the bad. Oh, you must boy. be the ugly. I would mess up your face. But your mama did it for me. Don't talk your pistol for a fistful of your million dollar babies. You were cool in the 80s, maybe, but now you're just crazy. A man like who argues joke. with people who aren't even there is good more fit to rap against this fucking child. Do you feel lucky, punk? That's what I'm asking. 
be too tough. You got killed by an ass brain. You're one inch punch. Same size as your pecker. Leave the rap into me. Stick to Chinese checkers. I'd beat you in round two, but that'd be unbelievable. <laughs> no one in your family ever lives to see a sequel. Ooh. So since it's a rap battle, I might as well just say who I think won. Um, I mean, I want to say Bruce Lee because I'm a fan of Bruce Lee. Like, I, I've watched a lot of his old movies, actually. I've seen a few, like, um, Enter the Dragon and and something else of the dragon. There's a couple dragon. There's a couple movies called Dragon that I watched. And there was a couple more as well. Um, and Chuck Norris is there as well. Yeah, there's just some, there's, I have some good memories from watching Bruce Lee movies, some old movies. But I think Clint Eastwood uh, hit hit deeper. He, he definitely hit deeper, especially that last line at the end. I think that won it for him. I'm think I think I think that definitely won it for him. So yeah, Clint Eastwood wins. On to the next one. I don't know Babe Ruth by the way. I, I don't know. you be the second fat woman here in my confession. I admit it. I did what I had to do to win. I'm an athlete. You're a specimen of sin with your drinking and smoking and choking down food. I know French do with better manners than you. So oh boy. swing batter batter, show me what a fatter rapper could do. I beat cancer, I can sure as hell crack you. you. Wow. Oh, beat cancer. Congratulations. Now I'll drop your ass faster than your own foundation. Third base with an Olsen twin. That's the same Ooh. patient. She's just a little girl. Would you give her a bracelet? The whole nation knows you ride too tight in the crotch. <laughs> You're as bored as your poor D French to watch her. Come oh, on. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm not sure who won to be honest I mean it was catchy to listen to that but I don't know Babe Ruth so I didn't really get like a, like half the digs towards him to be honest so I know Lance Armstrong so I, I don't know I guess I, I get the dig towards Armstrong more uh, I, I don't know who won to be honest Let's, let me just look at the comments um, Babe Ruth won uh, Babe Ruth second verse is the most ruthless, ruthless verse in history of rap battles uh, Lance Armstrong would have won if it weren't for people are saying Babe Ruth won so let's just say Babe Ruth won because I have no idea okay so it's time for Mike Righteous and Byron Abu from Charlie Sloth I, I know about this thing I don't really watch it I did watch this week's one though uh, Dax because I know Dax as a YouTuber so I watched his one and it round two was really good especially from him so um, yeah let's, let's, let's see how this guy does whoever he is Nice he intro. Said, said, said. Nice intro there. Byron the Boot. No, you gonna dig this. Uh, yeah. Well, well I hope I do. Uh, let's get ready to I've seen this guy before somewhere. Don't know where. Yeah. I'll tell everybody locked in right now, no matter where in the world you are. I'm in London. Like reckless. Apple Music beats one. Privilege to be here. Hold tight, sloth. Thank you for the opportunity, brother. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll kill him in the verse and in real life. I'll kill him so they learn where it feels like. Life's only guarantees that you will die. Yeah. Indeed. I'll kill him in the verse and in real life. I'll kill him so they learn where it feels like. Life's only guarantees that you'll die. Good and serious. Why so? Serious. Said I feel like killing myself, I still might. Said I'm gonna hang out the Mac, I'm still Mac. Rock while I by my side, it will back. He ain't friendly, ain't been fed in 10 weeks. He's like me, he hates feds and MCs. He ain't ain't, and if the plate is empty, we hunt beef. Fame, mate, this ain't fresh meat. Rather meet my end than barely make ends meet. If you saw what the bang done to your friend's teeth, you wouldn't be online saying shit to offend me. I should like go this. outside looking to find you, but don't tempt me. Since so much telly in my life, I think I'm 10 feet wide. Don't get me like an empty scan. My mind wide like FBI. Sick of 
twice, but... To me when we die, pull up in the blue and free the black bit, lead the white rangy. Hey, yo, Sloth, I finally understand why these rappers are pissed. Why is that? They're actually pricks. I'm rolling like an athlete with holes in my track. Yo, Love that line. Athlete. You know I'm catch you alone in the alley. And in my back pocket, I'm holding a bally. You know I'll be anti. I'm smoking the Cali. It's coach and I am. You're rolling with backy. It's going to go fast. Poison impresses me when, when you rap fast. I'm off on Apache. Whatever I'm off on, I know you won't catch me. So go take a backseat. Gage is on max pressure. Drake's in black leather. Like my name's Max Teller or Jax Teller. Dedicate this to anybody in the scene and it's victims. A sympathetic eyes, cause I've been one. I provide wisdom, advice, and give love. I wish to find some myself, but get not. You talk a tough one on Twitter and Insta. Fuck the internet in the flesh. Shit. Never seen a bitch run so quick. What bitch you spitting about? Never mind which one. Let's just have a witch hunt. Let's part the song so far. Yeah. Have round two. All my bios, fill it and smoke it in public. Can you feel it? Only roll with the realest in life. A grown widow's in the best. Lose hope. My bros will go prison, but there's still no quitting with life. Through stones, my bros, they play cricket. Stay winning. Class A still in the game. Get out my face. All Pretty out good. of space. You in a power ranger. Don't doubt the flame and don't doubt the name. Cause this might be game. I can wave a wand and have you gone to wave. I'm on his magic top. I got a rabbit in and I can make you vanish if you want that. Or if you got a problem, but you stop, man. Got a plot on me. I'm like, what plan? Pop your mother. Tell me who the fuck is this? Don't be chatting fucking shit on my fucking phone again. Interrupting my sessions. You ain't day ones. We ain't brethrens. I don't know you. I don't know you. Not expect that. You a waste man if you're white, if you're yellow, if you're brown, if you're black. You're all the same. You all get killed. You all are lame. Well, the game. You call my name. So yeah, a lot of that's probably gonna be cut out. A lot of that will be cut out probably. Just because like most of it was just me nodding my head, just listening to it pretty much and that's not going to be an entertaining reaction for you guys so if you want to see the whole thing if you're into rap then just click on the link in the description look for the video and you will just watch the whole thing but yeah um i'll put i'll, put, I'll, edit, I'll edit it down and i'll put the best parts of my reaction in it there's a lot of good parts of the rap that won't be my reaction though but yeah that was good like from a guy who's not a big fan of rap anymore I, I quite enjoy that. I, I do like, I, I do enjoy, I, I still like rap. I just don't listen to it as much anymore. Like, for example, I used to uh, listen to a lot of Eminem. I used to like listen to all his songs, like all in, all in one go sometimes. But I, I didn't, I, his last album, I never listened to it actually. So from 2018, I think it was. Uh, so yeah, that told you something as well. Because a guy, a, guy, a guy who I really like, I don't even listen to him anymore. Uh, but yeah, from a guy who's not a big rap fan, I quite enjoy that actually. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of getting into like YouTube rap if for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I know about uh, Quadeca and and Dax, and I like I like their I like their styles of music actually. Uh, I I didn't even know them like before like 2018, but because KSI, I watched KSI and he had beat for both of them, and because of that, I found out about these two rappers, and I was like. They're good, especially Kodeka. He's unreal. He's like unreal. I'm kind of glad that KSI had that beef because I wouldn't have known them otherwise. But yeah, I'm kind of into a bit of YouTube rap, I guess. I still like rap. I still appreciate it. I can still listen to like Kendrick, for example. I can listen to him. I'm fine with that. But I'm not big on rap anymore. And I, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Um, but I'm still getting into a little bit of it now. So, so, the, so that, was, that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the lyrics as well, they're, they're, they're pretty deep and they're pretty good. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's it. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.